I uncovered the effect of Tommy and his funniest mod hat on their Minecraft world. Imagine crawling into frightening homes, climbing never-ending holes, all to get the egg from the ender dragon they've slain. If their mod is strong enough to beat the end, they'll end all of us too. And first, we climb this split mountain over 100 blocks tall. Don't slip into the depths. For this area, we have to prove those doubters wrong and find evidence to the connection between Tommy and his gang and this crack in the mountain. It's easier said than done. There's no way they're connected. Examining the fresh dust inside, this mountain cracked only recently due to intensely bone-tingling pressure from someone. The horrified witnesses are shaking as they linger outside the mountain, so begging for answers from those people close by is our only option. Who did this? Dude, this is insane. Some four people. Their brains smelled British and Mexican. They were so loud my shoes hurt. Until I went outside the split, this investigation would not progress. This nearby river was about to crack the case because of the crazy blood in it. We found remnants that were splattered in hundreds of places under the water, leaking into crushed fish and broken leg bones. Combined with the earlier replies, we know the gang fell to their close demise many times, but survived and went somewhere else? Fearfully screaming for their lives led to the mountain cracking from the sheer volume of this mod. They had already caused a threat with. Where could have they gone? To a plethora of bone-chilling homes, a village unlike anything that was normal until they showed up. The silent but friendly villagers here definitely know something we don't. Please help clean our village, we'll tell you everything. Let's scrub this filthy place clean. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. If they don't like anything we've done, they won't tell us where to go next. The hardest part is fixing the houses. Classic couple of bubbly bricks, even dire deep slate. Any of these make a solid choice to prevent even the funniest of mods. Night King quicker than expected, and if I die, my spawn is so far I won't ever be able to come back. The villagers might know if the gang went to the end and slayed the dragon. If they did, we can easily come in and out with the egg. If not, we won't be able to exit without dying, losing all our progress. They went into a ravine we sealed just below the castle. Tommy and its gang was so loud, the villagers decorated their village to look ugly so nobody else would come. Please tell me if they beat the dragon? Uh, I'm sorry, we don't know. But we think they did visit the end. <gasps> True or not, this elevator looks very safe. The ravine they sealed up for it leads to a lot of treasures in our next crime scene. This is a villager, Connor. Oh. And these are the most deepest, most dangerous holes in this humongous cave and were carved and formed by none other than you know who. Connor personally volunteered to climb and slip across each and every one of these treacherous tunnels to locate the remaining diamonds Wilbur Soot mined and left forgotten in the cave. If they're found before they get burnt to a crisp by the lava close by, they will serve as concrete evidence for if Tommy and Ed's gang left to the end dimension or not. And if they didn't, we won't ever know where they went. We cannot lose those diamonds. Oh my god, that's lava. No, that's just cheese. I left him with a massive two-ton crate of priceless tools. He can use any of these in order to get across all the holes and find the right one. There's access to pickaxes, swords, and even TNT. He will have to find those precious diamonds with every bit of passion he's got. But I'm worried to think he might not make it. He first decided to go into the hole with the cobwebs and spiders. Not the safest start if you don't want to get bitten to death. Climbing inside these holes now that actually looks really dangerous. Can I even explore every hole? Let's check back on him later. While we go to nether hell. This nether fortress has over 600 beds lying around the floor. A failed attempt from the Minecraft mobs to get a proper sleep after hearing the Tommy and a gang's screams of absolute terror. And that's not what we're here for. The gang, alongside everyone else, tried to sleep in another, only to result in catastrophe. We have to click on the one remaining bed Tommy and his gang left here. Avoiding any monsters who just don't care and want to sleep was not on my list. I don't have weapons on me, I'm trying to help. If I get rid of any trace of the Tommy and his gang from this fort, the mobs could finally have their good night's sleep. The gang definitely left items under the sheets that will identify all the people involved, no matter how little they left behind before. If we click the wrong bed and its explosion hits the correct one, the items will be destroyed and we won't be able to progress no matter what else we get. If it's correct, we only get the items, not the explosion. It could be any of these crap. We need to find any marks, stains, and scribbles Tommy and its gang could leave. As we search every nook and cranny, a smell appears out of nowhere. It's coming from the bed right here. I'm dead. I knew I couldn't do it. It was too big of a challenge. I give up. The one totem oil dying I picked up on my way here saved my life. The smelly beds turned out to have two smells, spoiled meat and the other came after the explosion. The bed with the items exploded. But from its smell, we can tell that other than Tommy in it and Wilbur Soda, we got Quackity and Filza. And some shady smell, almost as if of a surgeon's. He might be who implanted the mod into the gang's bodies. We need to get back above. Into the water. The final unanswered question is if they went to the length to visit the end dimension. Having tracked down the stronghold they could have visited, this watery tunnel is an entrance Tommy and his gang dug. It's the most risky place yet. All the mysteries we've solved leads up to this moment. If the tunnel is too long, we die and lose all our progress, never to be able to return again. 
We can't drown now. Whoever lives here got so sick of this mod, they installed these waterproof sound panels so they wouldn't have to hear anything else loud. Nothing can be as loud as that mod they had. As our air runs out, the dungeon is getting closer by the moment. Running out of air like this is something we all might have experienced at one point, and it's not the best feeling. Busting the locked door in front of us. Let's check on Connor. He surprisingly turns out to be a professional digger and has effortlessly mined half the tunnels. Silver's diamonds, the only hope for continuing this investigation, weren't found yet. These tunnels are stocked with instant death, yet this guy is so far, taking it on like a champ. Before he appeared again out of thin air, I started slowly mining each tunnel from the bottom. Horrifyingly, there were hundreds of monsters in each hole. Good thing I took my time, otherwise, I would have been dead. I got an idea. If you craft me 5,000 chains and find Wilbur Soot's diamonds, so we know if they even left in the end or not, I'll pay it with all the thousands of emeralds I earned from mining in this world. Um, should I take this? If you can't make the chains, then there'll be no way we can sell this in time. I'll do the deal. I'll cut the dicks for the diamonds. The end stronghold for it is congested with thousands of horses that want one thing and it's neither to sleep nor eat. It's to steal our organs. Whether or not Tommy and a gang went to the end or not is up to us to find out. The only items I have are murder weapons. If I can kill 50 mobs by the first time I spot the portal, I am a gamer pro. I'll kill all these guys with one swing. Oh, there's only more of them. Too many mobs are inching towards killing me. I'll use my axe this time. Yes, now I can feel like a murderer. While we're here, you might have noticed that this video is fun. Okay, I'm using bombs. There are too many monsters on me. If you didn't, click the subscribe. Let's use this netherite hoe. It'll let me know what kinds of videos you enjoy on my channel. Oh no. If we're getting close, I'll have to use my final attack. Iron Golem, go, go, go. And if you like the video enough, I'll definitely know to make more videos in this style. Whew, we made it. Ah, damn it. Don't forget to subscribe right now if you enjoy. But with bad news, Connor has bravely tunneled, scavenged, and even jumped through almost all the tunnels. He still can't find Wilbur's diamonds, meaning the path will finally go cold. One of the numerous lava streams he found could have been the place that those diamonds were before they got burnt. All the hope goes into this last tunnel where Connor is already approaching the end. Are these even the correct tunnels? You have got to be spit spittingly kidding me. These tunnels were that close to where Tommy and the gang's footsteps were left, but then they easily went back up the cave. They did not dig any of these holes in the first place. Connor is 20 blocks away from the bottom. These five days of work will be for nothing. If Wilbur's diamonds are lost, so is everything else. I sense heat coming from the bottom. It could be just fire. The diamonds are here. The last piece is going to be swallowed up by the lava. I don't have any solid blocks. Connor's hands can only hold one thing at a time, and he held the pickaxe. He needs to swap it for blocks and get out of here. Connor crafted the 5,000 chains on top of finding the diamonds, so I paid him all my armor. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, Connor. The diamond tracked the remaining ones in the group and is leading to the end. Where the end crystals are all shattered and the ender dragon is still alive. The egg will tell us if Tommy and its funniest mod is strong enough to beat the game and therefore take over our world. The egg obtained from killing the dragon. No egg. They never beat the dragon. I had a feeling from the smells I got from the beds. They lacked the scent of strong tools. Tommy and its funniest mod wasn't powerful enough to beat the end, to take over the world after all that. So they jumped off and respawned far, far away. We know the truth. Our progress is complete. The items have served their purpose. All is good then. We don't need to worry about that funniest mod. What happens after Tommy and its Minecraft's natural disaster mod is stupidly funny? Come find out 